All right, so the first thing we're gonna do uh, for this clone is we're going to work on our page layouts. Um, so we're gonna start by laying out the home page, the, the landing page for our Google search engine. And then we will lay out our search results page um, after that. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to use just the uh, blank page. So we'll just click and drag and drop this right into our canvas. And then I'm gonna click up here and change the name of this to home. And this will be our home page. Now in Builder, there are many ways to lay out your page. Um, I like to use uh, divs. Um, it's just an easy way to um, you know, add all the styling um, that I like. So um, under element, you'll see this section that has layout. And again, there's a lots of different ways to lay out your page. I'm going to just use this div element. I'm gonna drag and drop this onto my page. And I'm gonna rename this div search. So I know it's a div and I know that this is going to be my whole um, sort of search section, which is uh, pretty much the whole, whole block uh, of this page. So the next thing I wanna do is add some styling to this. Um, so I'm going to create a new primary style class. So uh, right here, I'm gonna click select and then at the bottom, create new primary style class. I like to name it the same as my div. So I'm just gonna call it div search. And then if I click here on this, um, I get all of my uh, styles, my style properties. So the first thing I wanna do is I like to use flex for my layouts. Again, there are lots of different ways uh, in Builder and with CSS to lay out your pages. Uh, I'm just showing you one way. So I like to set this uh, to flex. And then I wanna add some um, padding to this. So under spacing, I'm gonna use uh, this padding property and I'm gonna add about 200 pixels on the top and 200 on the bottom. And that's just so that we have a nice size to our page. And when I start adding my Google search bar, it'll um, kind of be uh, in the middle of the page and have some, some headroom above and below. All right, so uh, first things first, let's get our uh, Google logo in here. So I'm just gonna go grab a logo image and now I'm going to uh, come into the element and find the image element. So it's down here under media and I'm gonna drop this into my div search. As you can see, uh, it's very large by default, so we're gonna modify that. Um, let's go to the styling, and I'm just gonna use inline styling today. Um, you can create style classes when you want reusable um, styles, but for this tutorial, I'll probably stick to the primary style class and then some inline styling. So for this, I'm just gonna set the width of our image to 270. Now on the properties panel, I'm gonna change this to uh, media library and I'm going to upload an image file. I have my Google image. I've now uploaded that and there we go. All right, so now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna position this properly inside of my um, div. So I'm gonna come back into div search and into layout. And uh, what I wanna do is center all of this. Um, so I'm gonna use the flex direction as a column because I'm gonna have sort of a column of elements on this page. And then under align items, I'm going to select center. So now we've got a nice centered image there. Okay. And I'm just going to uh, zoom my canvas out to 100%. You can also use the new hotkeys, um, but I'm just gonna click this drop down and go to 100% so I can see what this will look like. 
of full size. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Next, let's add, let's work on our search bar. So I know my search bar is gonna have multiple um, elements. Um, if you look at, uh, you know, Google and what we wanna build, there's, uh, you know, icons inside of this search bar. It's got this sort of rounded shape to it. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to put uh, my search content inside of a div. So again, I'll drop a div onto my page body. And this one I will call uh, div search bar. And actually, I want to move this under my search div because um, I want it to be in this centered uh, container. So uh, let's work on the styling for this uh, div search or search bar, I should say. So as I mentioned, I'm going to just add some inline styling. I want to set the width of this uh, div to 580 and I want to set the height to 44. Um, I want to add a background color to this. I want my search bar to be white because our page is going to be slightly off white. Um, and we'll set that up in a little bit. Um, all right, so I have my, um, my background color. Um, I want to add a border to this. Um, so I'm going to add a one pixel border and I have a color that I want to use. I'm going to grab this from my notes here. So one pixel, I'm going to select solid and I'm going to paste in my color. There we go. And then now I want to add a radius to make the search bar rounded. So I'm going to add a radius here of 20 pixels all the way around. All right, so now we've got something that's starting to look uh, like a search bar. Um, I want to add some spacing to this div because I want my elements to fit properly um, within it. So these are just some values I had played around with this, um, you know, before I started recording. So I kind of know already what I want to set, but you'll have to play around with uh, yours and make sure it's, it's set up the way you want. But I'm going to add a margin above this um, so that it sits away from the logo. And I'm going to add some padding. Um, I want 20 pixels on the left and 10 pixels on the right. And that'll just make sure that there's some breathing room uh, between the contents that I add and um, the outside edge of this, uh, this search bar. And then let's go ahead and add our elements. Um, so uh, actually first what I wanna do is I wanna add my buttons. Um, let's go ahead and, and add my buttons. And those are gonna sit below the search bar. So I'm gonna add another div inside of my search and I'm gonna call this one div buttons. And I'm gonna add uh, some styling to this, of course. So what I wanna do here is put a margin on this. Again, so it sits away from my search bar. So I'm gonna add a 20 pixel margin. And now I'm gonna drop some buttons in here. So under elements, there is a button type. So I will just drag and drop my first button. And I'm going to change the display text on this to Google search. So I have my Google search and on this one, Buttons by default have a style class already, a primary style class. So um, since in this clone, all my buttons are gonna be the same, I'm just going to modify um, this style class anytime I need to make um, style changes. And so uh, let's take a look at what we wanna add here. So I wanna add some spacing first. Um, I want five pixels on either side as a margin. This will just ensure the buttons don't sit too close together. And then some padding. I'm going to do 16 pixels 
And this just makes sure that the text is not too close to the edge of the button. I'm going to set a size, so a minimum width of 54 pixels. This basically just sets, um, you know, regardless of how, how small the text is, I'll have at least a 54 pixel width on my button. And then I'm gonna do a height of 36. So again, these are some hard coded values that um, I know are gonna achieve the effect I want. Um, you will, you know, have to play around with it and, and get the effect you want. Um, I'm going to change the cursor to a pointer. And all that does is make sure that when I mouse over the button, I get the cursor changed so that uh, the user knows it's a button. I'm going to uh, modify my font size. I want to set this to 14 pixels. And I have a color that I want. So you can see the color of my button change there, or the, the color of the text, rather. I'm going to change the color of the background. So the background of my button, I want to be sort of this light gray color. So I add that. And then lastly, the border and outline. So I have a specific um, border that I want. Uh, and it's going to be a radius of four pixels. And the border should be zero pixels. All right, so now I've got a button and I've got it styled the way I want. And because I'm using the primary style class of button, um, I can actually just duplicate this. I'll get another button and this one I'm gonna change to, I'm feeling lucky. All right, so now we've got something that's starting to look like uh, the Google search homepage. Um, I'm going to uh, stop this video right here, and in the next one, we will work on our the layout of our search results page, and then we'll come back and do icons. All right.